feel like days Only been days, but it feel like months When it come for you, only go like once Life move fast when you do what you want I guess I'm doing what I want Hey girlies, it's Kay Nicole and I'm back with another hair video. Now I know you guys love my hair videos so I decided to give you another one. So today I will be installing Y wigs, clip ins in the inch 18. Now you see my real hair and I'm just going in, combing it, playing with it, showing you guys the silk press that I did on myself before installing these clip ins. Now this is a packaging that Y wigs sent. And these are the clippings. They did come with 12. I had some long ones, medium ones, and small ones. Now, I did wash them and dye them jet black to match my hair. So, that's why they kind of look like that. But they are very good hair quality. And the first thing you see me doing is going in and combing out the clippings and flattening them by their roots only because I washed and blow dried this hair so I just wanted to make sure that when I do install it it is installed very flat and seamless notice how this is how the um, clipping looks it does have the seamless at the top and it really 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 blends really well with your hair once you install them so that's what you see me doing right now I'm just going in and flattering the clippings and making sure that they are Going straight from top to bottom. In the meantime, I just got going where I want. It's a meantime. It's a meantime. It's a meantime. Maybe I'll love myself. I don't know. Leave me here, I'll fuck myself. See me in the mirror, I duck myself. I don't need much, so fuck my wealth. to start sectioning off my hair and parting my hair from the back so that I can start installing the clip in. And now I just gave you guys a back view of me parting my hair. Now let me tell y'all, after watching this video and editing this video, my parts were not straight whatsoever at all. But they are still in my head now and they still are lasting. So it really doesn't matter if you do, do not have that perfect part. Just make sure that it's kind of aligned to where you want to put the clip in. But that's what you see me doing now. I'm just installing the clippings in the back of my head. I did go with one of the smaller pieces starting at the back. And then I'm just flattening the hair so I know that it's blending and getting straight. I did flatten it prior to this, but I just wanted to go in and make sure that it's bone straight. Because this is how I am styling the clippings for today's video. now I am back parting my hair and this is where I noticed that my part was all the way off but it is okay because it still turned out good but make sure if you are parting your hair and you are very like crazy about having those straight lines look at a mirror and make sure that it's straight to your um likening I'm now going in and taking a longer piece of my clippings to go around that whole perimeter right there. Thank you. 
Also, I forgot to mention if your hair is thin or if you are nervous of just clipping in that clipping just on your hair, go ahead and tease it. I don't normally tease mine just because my hair is thick and it's okay for me, but I did just want to throw that in there just in case. You have hair where you're like, uh, I need to tease mine before I put this clip in right there. I have seen a lot of people do the teasing method before they install the clip in. So just an ideal. If you want to do the teasing method, just look up on YouTube, clip in install with teasing method. And I'm sure something will pop up. I do want you guys to take a closer look into how I am actually clipping in the clippings on my hair. I don't go straight for my roots. I do go a little bit under my roots. So that way I don't irritate my hair. The goal is just to do a natural seamless look on your hair, not to make your hair feel like it's in a whole blown out sew-in. I just want it to come out very natural. So that's the reason why I don't clip the clippings directly on my roots. I also want you to take a look at how I am pulling out some hair before installing the next clip-in. Notice how I'm not pulling out a lot of hair because you still want the clip-ins to showcase more than your natural hair in this install but you want to make sure that you have enough hair in between both clip-ins so that way the clip-ins are not directly close to each other Now that I'm in the middle of my head, I am going in with the long pieces so that it wraps all around that perimeter and it is solid. So you have those different sizes that your clippings will come in and it's just up to you to be able to place it in the right places for your hair type and for your hair overall. So with me, I normally put my long pieces right in the middle of my hair because that is where my hair is thick and also that is just easier for me because your hair starts curving in the middle and so it's just easier to put that long piece or those long pieces of clippings right there Okay, so now I am at the front and I'm giving you guys a different view. Hopefully y'all like the way I am recording. But what you see me doing is parting my hair into a middle part because that's the style that I was going for. And so I'm just parting my hair. And now I am parting my hair again. And this time I am about to go in with one of my small medium clip-ins. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, when I start getting to the front of my head, I start being more critical about where I want to put my clip-ins, only because this is when it starts to show the most, depending on your natural hair and your clip-in hair. So now I am parting my hair, and I'm going by sides, and I'm still on one side, and I'm just gonna be adding in clip-ins to make it fuller before I move to the other side. When I get to the front of my head, I start adding the small medium clips or I'll add just the small clip around my edges. Just really depends on your hair and how full you want it at the front. But you should have about four small clips and about four small medium clips. So just use it to your best advantage and you just decide where you want those clips to be placed. Because when you get to the front of your head, you have to really, really look and see where exactly do you want to place them? And here right now, I am just repeating the exact same steps that I did on the other side to this side so that they match. I'm telling y'all, I am literally falling in love with clip-ins. It is such a seamless, natural look. 
and it just gives off the exact same effect that a sewing would give clippings also give off the same effect that tapings will give off i think clippings is just more convenient and easier because you can clip them in take them out clip them back in take them out put in any style you want because it's not a permanent hairstyle and i think that's what i love about these clippings it just has so much flexibility to do with them you can put your hair up you can put your hair to the side you can do a lot with clippings. So if you don't have a pair of clippings, I suggest you invest in some clippings. Now that I have all the pieces in my head, I think I used about 10. I didn't use the full 12 pack, but I did use about 10. So now that I have those installed on my head, I'm going in and flattening my hair, making sure that it is blending in with those clip-ins. And also, I just went ahead and added um, some more clip-ins in out of the 10 now i think i had about probably six or seven in my head at this moment but i went in and added those small clips and tried to fill up my hair in the front because i don't know what happened but after i got that bob a long time ago you probably seen it on a vlog my hair has been very thin in the front and i think it's because i cut it for that bob so i'm just going in and adding in those little details small clips so that my hair looks full and, and that the middle part looks full Okay, y'all, so the clippings are installed. Now I am taking my Bio Silk Silk Therapy and I am going to put that all over my hair. Now, the tip is to normally do it before you do the clippings and I did a little bit before I installed the clippings but I wanted to go back in and make sure I put some on the clippings itself so that I can flat on it and get the bone straight those are the extra pieces that I did not use so I threw them out of course and now I am going in and just flat ironing my hair and getting it bone straight got me too excited Now, I do want to give a shout out to Y Wigs. This hair is the bomb.com. The quality is amazing. I was able to wrap my hair every single night with these clip ins, and it looks so much like my natural hair. I got so many compliments on this hair and how it is very good quality. It moves right, it does everything right. 
and you can install these clip-ins more than one time. Now, this is actually my second install on these clip-ins. I did record for y'all the first go-around, but let me just tell y'all, I came back with a better quality video, okay? <laughs> so, as you can see, this is the second time using them, and they still look brand new, and they blend really well with my hair, and overall, they have some good hair quality clip-ins. They have tape-ins, they have bundles, they have it all, so go to their page, check it out, and get what you like. Their hair is definitely worth your coins, so go over there right now, right after this video, and purchase whatever you want from their page for your hair. Okay guys, my hair is super duper cute and it's fully done. As you can see, this is just how it turned out. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hopefully I was more detailed or um, that I got better in you know, the little spots that I need to fix when doing hair videos. I'll be taking y'all advice, so hopefully you love this video and you enjoy it. This is a very, very cute hairstyle. It looks very natural. And you can't go wrong at all whatsoever with clip-ins. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe down below. If you are old, thank you for watching another video of your girl's life. Other than that, I will see you in another video. Look around, find one to see my type. Damn, my dog, and he know what I like. He done found me plenty in my life. Problem is, I meet a girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Gallery of credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. But I do know one thing, though. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday, yo. Maybe I'll love you one day. Maybe we'll someday grow. Till then, I sit my drunk ass on that runway on this one way.